Hello everybody. In this video, we will learn about the data profiling feature of the Browse tool. By definition, it helps display data from a connected tool. However, you may ask, what's the real meaning? It is used to understand the quality of the data. Now I'm going to show you practical examples to talk about. And we will be using a shortcut, Control shift d to do that. So let's go ahead. Before me lies an empty canvas area of the new workflow. This area, which is called the tool palette. Let me go to the in out and bring in the input data tool. This will allow you to pull the data from different files and sources of your information. So I click on the menu. I go to file and then I point my cursor to the file which has the records of 417 employees. So I'm going to open that. What you see on the left-hand side window is a preview of the first 100 records. Now as you scroll down, you may see some values may appear as null, because the data is not present. In some cases, you may see some duplicate values. And in a few cases, you may also see the data not being cleaned. So there's a leading space right before Abney Jeffrey. Now the problem is you just saw 100 records. What if your data was 1 million records? So I need the bird's eye view of how good is the quality of my data. And therefore, I bring in the Browse tool. Either you drag and drop, or you may select the Input Data tool and press Control shift b That's the shortcut. Now, to be able to see the data profiling window, let's run the workflow and press Control r so by the story it took the data in Browse is now going to give you an eagle eyes view of what's happening inside the data. If I take the column of name, you notice this chart tells you that your data has a null value. That means no records are present. It is simply blank data. Some of the data may also have leading and trailing spaces, and hence it says not OK. No, this will prompt you to use other features, such as cleanse, to be able to consistently make the data clean. Furthermore, you notice in the list of names, Jeffrey Abney and Sally Adams appear twice each. And therefore, it has excluded those four values from the total records and showing unique only. Mind you, Jeffrey Abney with leading spaces is different from the clean Jeffrey Abney name. Hence, these two names are not considered duplicate values. So there you go, my friends. This is just an indicator, or an eagle-eyes view of the quality of the data. So we just learned the basics of the data profiling feature of the Browse tool. 